Coffee drip bags. They're new here at Artisti. What are they and why would you use them? Stick about and I'll tell you all you need to know. G'day everyone, I'm Luke and welcome back to the Artisti YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. And so you don't miss out on any of our latest content, make sure you do like and subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. And if you've got a comment about today's drip bags, hey, leave it down below, we do love to answer them. So, what are we talking about? I've already said it, it's drip bags. They are a new product that is available for you to enjoy specialty coffee no matter where you are. They are really easy to, to brew with, they're um, very economical and all you need is hot water and a bag. Oh, by the way, you need a cup to enjoy your coffee. <laughs> so what we have here is our coffee drip bags. So what are they? Essentially in here you have a nitrogen flushed and sealed individual pouch. And it's basically a paper filter which you can open up and then brew straight into a cup. Now, they're really cool. The information's on the back on how you do it. What we've designed here is a range of products from the Fix, which is our strongest blend, to our Champion, which is our everyday hero, and we've also got a Costa Rican single origin natural coffee. So these basically suit the generalized different coffee snobs out there, let's say, uh, where you can get a strong coffee, a nice smooth balanced coffee, or the single origin black coffee. So these come in a pack of 12, um, in this size like that as a standard box. You can either have them as champ, champion, the fix, the single origin, or you can get a mixed pack if you're not sure what you want. Now, why would you get this kind of product? Well, it, you don't always have your AeroPress or any other brewing device or a fresh ground product, but you can have this little pouch just jammed in your backpack if you're hiking. You can have it in the, a pack of that in your cupboard uh, right at the back in case you do run out of your fresh ground beans and you'll be able to brew a specialty um, coffee no matter where you are. You really just need the pouch, a cup and hot water. And the expiry life on these is over 12 months. So there's, there's no need to worry about aging coffee or getting the right you know, freshness before you start to brew your coffee. It is simply ready here anytime you need it. It can be the perfect gift for Christmas, friend's birthday, or just for you to sample some different type of coffee than what you're normally used to. I know we're not traveling on planes a lot at the minute, but it's not far away. But if you ask the hostess for a bit of hot water, you would be able to have specialty coffee and be the envy of everyone on that plane once they can smell your beautiful coffee. So, how do they work? Well, let's brew one. On the back, there are instructions. There's four there, they're really simple. All you have to do is tear the bag open. And then you have your pouch. Okay, and you can smell it really is still vibrant because of that nitrogen flushed ground coffee. And there's these little paper wings and you open those out. And that's what will sit on top of your cup. On the top here, it does say to open, so you just tear that nicely. And there you go, there is your fresh ground coffee ready to sit straight into your cup. So simple and easy to brew. So I've got my kettle at 94 degrees. So this is a, um, the fix, it's a little bit darker. So 94 is a good temperature for that. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. You can do it like a pour over, um, or you can actually brew a whole big long black of coffee. Um, you could also then pour the end liquid you've created into multiple cups and top them up with hot water if you choose. Very versatile, but essentially the brewing is exactly the same. So we want to do our first pour and we're just going to Make sure we do saturate that coffee nicely. And you'll see it just start to leak through that paper filter at the bottom. And it looks a bit grainy and solid. And as soon as that sinks, I would go for my second pour. And make sure you do move that around a little bit. And you can see now it's getting a bit more of a caramel sort of color that's coming through because those grinds are being stirred up and a little bit of the gases have been coming out. So we are blooming the coffee a little bit. That's our second pour. And now you've got your third pour. And you can see there, it's definitely looking a lot more just caramel. And there's actually a bit of a sort of a crema form basically, or a foam on the top from the gas being released and a brew starting. So you could leave that as it is um, for about two minutes. And essentially you would have 
a nicely brewed coffee. If you didn't leave it for two minutes, that would be basically a pour over. Or you can simply fill it up again so that the whole drip bag is already submerged in the water. And so now that is still brewing because the water is touching the coffee there. So you can again, leave that for another couple more minutes. It's gonna give a bit more intensity, a bit more flavor, maybe a tad more bitterness as well if you'd leave it too long. I wouldn't let these go any more than three minutes. It's 15 grams of coffee per drip bag. So at 15 grams to 200 ml, that's a really good recipe to give you a nice full flavored coffee. And when you're done, you can simply just pull the bag out. And it's always a debate whether you squeeze that tea bag or not, but I'm definitely gonna give it a little squeeze just to get that final flavor out. And there you go. That's a coffee drip bag. So simple, so easy. You've got your brewed coffee and all we needed was the hot water. And so how does it taste? Well, that's really good. It's actually quite smooth. Um, it's definitely not bitter. You could brew that a little bit longer if you want a bit more intensity. It's definitely highlighting some bold flavors in there um, from the fix. And yeah, that'd handle a good dash of milk in there if you wanted to make it a bit more like a latte. Um, let us know what you think of the different blends um, and our single origin and your experience you may have had with a drip bag somewhere else. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy. We'll catch you next time on our next video. Cheers.